people work in areas of conflict all the time. And sadly, it's been in the news a lot lately. I'm Therese Bird, and I'm a learning technologist with the University of Leicester. Our criminology department has been developing a new distance master's course called the MSC in Security, Conflict, and International Development. The people who are likely to be enrolling on this course live and work in areas of conflict and recent conflict. We would like to give them a very rich learning experience, such as the chance to listen to interviews and watch videos beyond just the printed text. But how can we do that when they don't have access to the internet more often than once or twice a month? And so we developed an app, and we're shipping them an iPad. The app will download the interviews, the videos, and the rich learning experience that they can watch and read even though they are not connected to the internet. I think the reason why we went down this road was we had a particular type of student who was very much uh, based overseas, who was on the move a lot, who would not always have access to the internet, who wasn't really capable of carrying lots of materials with them. And so the iPad really lent itself to us in terms of how can we deliver materials to these students in a way which suits their, their experience and their, their needs. I think we'd spend a lot of time trying to understand what these students wanted and, and, and whilst they weren't saying we want an iPad, what they were telling us they wanted flexibility in the way that the material could be delivered and the way that they could study. And so they'd iterated to us before we started developing the course what for them would be the ideal way of, di of, of learning online via distance learning. So I think the gamble for us was getting the technology to work and understanding how we need to make the administration of the programme seamless for the students. That for us was a bit of a gamble, getting it to fit in within existing distance learning structures. I think the concept of allowing students to have greater flexibility in the way that they can access their materials, I think for us, was something we knew we had to deliver. iPads really are not only of the moment, but they really make learning anywhere, anytime a reality. It wasn't easy because as an institution we hadn't thought um, centrally about mobile learning, um, things that we needed to have in place in terms of um, central support, be that um, sort of the, the platforms, the devices, the purchasing, um, library, copyright, there was all sorts of things that we hadn't done. And so what's been exciting is that that's now cascaded out to other parts of the university. So Phil Woods and colleagues in education, for example, are using iPads with their students. And also the medical uh, school are starting to think about giving iPads out as part of the package for first year medics. And you can really see a benefit of, of students being able to have access to all their uh, medical references, for example, at hand on something like the iPad. It really has got a lot of other departments engaged with mobile learning, thinking about ebook readers, iBooks, We've had all sorts of disparate activity occur as a result of this one initiative. And, and what we did with this course in combination with the iPad was we were, we were able to build in um, e-tivities as part of the uh, assessment process, which we haven't tended to do in the past. And what we find in there is that students are engaging much more effectively with the overall assessment programme because it's broken down into different elements and they find that more engaging, easier to access the materials that are relating to that. And talking to people like Adrian, it's very interesting because he mentions the kind of value of things like the learning design stuff as a springboard to the way in which they went about designing. And what's really kind of um, heartening, I think, is the fact that he talks about the fact that it's changed the way they design things, made them focus much more on, a, on an activity uh, focus, focusing much more on the students, sort of chunks of kind of much more interactive, engaging material. So that, for me, is a kind of real highlight. And, and what's nice, of course, is the learning design work um, that we did um, was funded by JISC through the, both the curriculum design project for the OU work and the curriculum delivery uh, work through the Duckling project here at Leicester. The app was not the only way for them to receive learning materials. They did also have to use our, our VLE, which is Blackboard. From the student evaluations, we can see that 61%, I think it was, reported that they used the course app more often than they used the VLE. We said that the VLE was the required 
platform for them to use because we were legally required to have them submit their assignments in that way. The, uh, the discussion boards all happened over the VLE. So in the end, we gave them a very rich experience of using both of these methods. But I think what we discovered is that the attractiveness of the course app encouraged them to spend time on, on the learning material in a way that the traditional just send out papers and books did not encourage. Uh, they all seem to be doing extremely well. Um, now that could be because they're accessing more of the material. Um, because it's more accessible to them, they may be reading more because they're able to. But I'm certainly seeing uh, a lower rate of, uh, of students who are not passing their, 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 their assignments at this stage in the programme. So it's very reassuring. And a lot of the feedback that we're getting from um, the course tutor is that she's finding the students are really engaging with the material. Just wrote um, this document called the Mobile Learn Info Kit, which was put online in 2011. And I used that uh, greatly during this project. The document is, is kind of a guide to institutions who are considering implementing mobile learning. And I just found it so helpful to go through each section, read through and make notes and comments based on our experiences here at Leicester, and then to put that up on our blog including all the updates and comments because now it's 2013 you can see how quickly this field is moving just from 2011 the scene of mobile learning has changed so much and i was able to include that in my blog i think as with all of these kind of trailblazing um innovative projects it needs somebody tough and robust with a vision who's going to be able to sit through who's going to be able to kind of make the battle and that was certainly the case um, with Adrian, the head of um, criminology. So being able to negotiate, discuss with IT about uh, IT services, about why this is important. But it's about being able to have the personality to work with them, to say, look, this is a real need, this is important for these reasons. And once that's been done, then it kind of lays the way open for others to be able to kind of have a more smooth passage. And certainly uh, within our institution, these kind of things are now being talked at at kind of relevant policy committees, and so it's become it's shifted from being a peripheral innovation to something that's starting to be considered as a standard. I think I think what we're finding is that there's increasing the expectation that we should be doing this, not that whether we can do it. But I think students are expecting greater levels of flexibility as technology is moving, you know, in that direction now, and and, and people's awareness of what technology can now do for them we have to build this into our programs and so we're now revamping one of our most popular masters programs along exactly the same lines as this one. We're looking to roll it out across all our programs. All our cohorts will be receiving iPads we think from 2014-15 onwards. And we are really excited because we think that we are the first university to use iPads in distance education in such an exciting way.